What's going on, guys? Uh, found a little gem here that I thought I'd share with you. Haven't dropped a video in a while, so here's this. <laughs> um, what you can see here is actually RetroPie running on a laptop. Um, I didn't know this was possible until not too long ago, and it is amazing. Um, in my other videos, I've shown you how to put Emulation Station on Windows and stuff like that, but it's got its limitations, like you got to put your own ROMs together and systems and everything, or you're forced to struggle with RetroArch in the background, and that's always been kind of a hassle and a struggling point. The nice thing about RetroPie is when you install it on a Raspberry Pi, it's kind of all inclusive and all together. But one of the downsides of using a Raspberry Pi is it's not very strong. You know, you have your limitations and stuff like that. It goes all the way up to maybe N64. People got PS1 to work, uh, maybe PSP, but I know it, it struggles a lot. So um, you kind of get the best of both worlds with having an all-in-one RetroPie build on a laptop here so as you can see i've got a laptop it's just this hp slim i think it's only got like six gigs of ram the processor isn't very strong it's probably at four or five years old it's core i5 but it's a mobile version and everything it's, it's pretty dumb so and i've got my xbox 360 controller and you can see over in the corner over here i've got you know the dongle setup this is uh flashed or installed i just installed ubuntu on it which is just a kind of a gooey flavor of linux i'll leave the a note in the description down below of the video that i use to install this so i'm not going to show you guys how to install it it's kind of a lengthy process and the video that i'll link to you as you can see i got my screensaver up here um is really great the guy does a really good job i like all of his videos and everything so um, so let's just jump in and I'll kind of show you around just a little bit. It's really cool. You can even get the laptop to boot into this like straight away. And I've got HDMI on this so I could hook it up to a TV if I wanted to, or it's on batteries right now. I can tote it with me. So screw the Nintendo switch. You've got a full portable gaming system right here. <laughs> so I got things like Nintendo and this is a, um, pretty cool skin or theme that I'm playing right now. I'll try to leave a description down below as of what it is too. And then I was able to scrape and get the videos on the side. So every time you go to a different game, the ones that I've scraped and all that, you get to love the little preview. But as you can see, you know, it's just like Emulation Station that we've seen before on Windows and stuff like that. Or if you're familiar with things on the Raspberry Pi, it's RetroPie. It totally is. That's what it is. So you can surf through and all that. And then you will even have your retro pi you know uh system configurations and all that kind of stuff i've seen it lacking a couple of things but nothing too big um, i know like the splash screens are pretty cool and fun to put in there and i haven't dove di or dove far into getting those to work it's not kind of in here but the themes are in here and all that kind of stuff it takes you in the background uh, for retro arc, if you're familiar with that and everything. So if you're brand new to this, I would definitely say, check it out. I'll do a little bit of gameplay here so you can see how it works. If you're already familiar with retro arc, then you're going to know this like in and out. And the cool thing is <clears throat> you can totally push it even further because with the laptop, you've got tons more horsepower. Like I was talking about. Um, so, you know, checking out N64 plays beautifully. It plays just like it should. When I played it on the RetroPie, uh, I, I, I had problems with it. It was a little sluggish. Maybe it was the core that I picked or whatever, but I felt from going into the N64 realm was kind of difficult. Um, of course, you got all the Sega stuff and everything. And this is, of course, how the ROMs that you put in here, it's, you're welcome to do that. Um, MAME works really well, too. And then you get the more experimental stuff. So, again, if you're familiar with RetroPie, you know that GameCube Dolphin and things like that and higher verms of uh, versions of MAME are kind of more in the experimental realm. So um, I don't want to drag on too long on this and everything. A Dreamcast works really, really well. So I'll just show you a little bit of gameplay here. We'll do, you know, something boring. Uh, they have little splash screens that come up, and this is all like inherent in RetroPie. Like this isn't like the special build that only goes on the laptop. So basically, what you do is you take your laptop, 
that you don't really use anymore. If you have one that's just sitting around collecting dust, uh, you re-image it with Ubuntu, which is free on the internet. You just do a Google search, go to their site, download, flash. Super easy to do, just a couple of clicks. It's a full-on OS from Linux, if you don't know what that is. And then um, the video description down below will teach you how to just type in the stuff in the command line. It'll download, install, and go, you know, so... And this is, of course, the longest intro. I've never actually played this game before, so. Uh, but you can see it started up and everything. Oh, it's just going there. Um, you can have the best of. You can have collections and everything. So I'll go back into this again and try to get something else to come up. I really like this theme. It's really cool. It's called Comic Book. And then you can go in and kind of manipulate. And there's another YouTube search that you can do for the um images on the side like instead of having the box art you can have the um what should i call it the actual videos i think there's little scrubs or something like that or clips or something like that you know well you gotta have a hot button to like be able to speed these things up <laughs> so you can see that one started up and everything i think i've only done super nintendo so far so you know uh, Atari, I've gotten all these ROMs. They're super cool. Please don't ask me where to get the ROMs. If you don't know, then you probably haven't looked into emulators enough. Uh, they're a questionable way of getting them, you know, by downloading them and everything like that. So, uh, Miss Pac-Man, yeah. So. so, these are all the things you can definitely do on uh, the Raspberry Pi. But then you get into stuff more complicated and more kind of... Um, I don't know, experimental is what they usually call it, with like Dreamcast here, which I actually haven't been able to get the um, videos to work on those, those little clips or whatever. But you can see it starts up. This always happens every single time. You're forced with the time reset or whatever. And you can definitely tell it's a, <laughs> a laptop and everything because you got the uh, cursor there. But of course, you jump into it, and now we've got Marvel vs. Capcom, which is by far my favorite game of all time. So I had to get this working on for Dreamcast. Um, even the special character selections work, where you do the little swoop around in codes. Uh, I probably just did it wrong right there, but you know. So you can totally see it's working and everything. Uh, I don't want to make this video too long. If you already got the gist of it, click the link down below. I'll play a little bit here and entertain you guys and everything. So you can see, just as a proof of concept, like it actually does work. So the sound gets a little choppy right there, but it plays really well and really smooth. And so that way you can tell for sure that you're going to be able to want to do something like this. So as Morgan kicks my ass here. Uh, maybe not. I haven't played this game in so long. <laughs> I'm totally getting jacked here. But you guys get the idea and everything. You can see Marvel vs. Capcom works really, really well. Um, again, this is all going to be based on the kind of uh, stats that your laptop will have. So if you have like the oldest laptop in the world, you know, like it's 10 or 15 years old, it may not be any better than like a Raspberry Pi. This thing's only like five or six years old, maybe, now that I think about it, and um, it works really, really well. So I haven't got GameCube to work really well. I only got one game, and it's kind of sluggish, but even on Windows with Dolphin, it was kind of foobar in there. So uh, MAME works really well, especially the newer MAME ones. And then um, Neo Geo, I've had great uh, experiences with that. PSP is kind of like, oh, I'm sorry, P yeah, PSP is kind of a work in progress, you know, to get these running and everything, and of course PS2. But all of these are really fun to be able to play. So yeah, guys, check this out. Um, again, links in the description down below. Knock your stuff out. Let me know if you have any questions about any limitations I've ran into and everything. For me... I personally like this better than the Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi is cool. I definitely want to make like a little gaming setup where I kind of tape it to the back of like a monitor or whatever and have like a standalone retro gaming system. Um, but this is something like I'm going to take HDMI, hook it up to my TV, fold the laptop up and everything, tuck it back in there, 
have it plugged in. And like, this could be like a full on gaming station that will be on like my main system, like my my main TV. And I'll have my, you know, Xbox controller there and waiting uh, and stuff like that. And it's full 1080p, you know, all that kind of stuff. So um, definitely cool. Check it out. And of course, any questions, let me know down below. Appreciate all the subscribers and everybody. And if there are other videos that you guys want to see, um, definitely let me know. And I'll be more than willing to see if I can look into them and make some other how-to videos uh, on some of the stuff. All right. Happy gaming.